Hi, I'm Stephen Lewis, and welcome to another episode of Mercedes-Benz Raleigh Coffee Talk. I've worked at Leith for 21 years. I've been with Mercedes-Benz the entire time, and I am their lead diagnostic technician. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about the 48 volt system. The 48 volt system has become necessary because the amount of electrical demand that the car has has exceeded the capacity of a 12 volt system. The 48 volt system is a lot like the hybrid vehicles that we've become very familiar with. However, it's not exactly the same. It's there to assist the gasoline engine but the car will not move on 48 volt power alone. It still requires the gasoline engine to move the vehicle. We've added a great deal of complexity to the vehicle electrical system, and we've also increased uh, demand for customer comfort. For example, the air conditioning system. Um, a common complaint that we had with Eco Stop Start, when you pull up to a stoplight and your engine shuts off, your AC compressor is no longer running because it's driven by the engine. Well, with 48 volt, we have the ability to drive the electric uh, AC compressor all the time. So even if your engine isn't working, your air conditioner can continue to operate at full capacity because it's relying on the 48 volt system and not the engine to drive it. Another advantage of having the 48 volt system is you can recuperate the energy that you lose through just slowing your car and stopping it. When you're coming up to a stop, normally you hit your brakes and that energy is dissipated into the atmosphere as heat loss. You lose it. With a 48 volt system, we can actually use it to recharge the electrical system in the car and recuperate that energy. It makes your brakes last longer and it also improves your fuel economy. Another feature of our 48 volt system is it allows the electric motor to assist the power output of the gasoline engine. So you get more power from a standstill than you would by having just the gas engine alone you're able to accelerate more quickly and have more power available at all times with the assistance of the 48 volt electric motor. Another difference with our 48 volt systems is that because they are considered low voltage, they don't require a hybrid specialist who's certified in dealing with high voltage systems to work on them. So they're gonna become more common throughout the car line and any of our technicians can work on them. The 48 volt system is still relatively new technology. It is making its way throughout our entire car line. Not every model has it yet, but almost all of them do. I hope you enjoyed learning about the 48 volt system. I'm Stephen Lewis from Mercedes-Benz of Raleigh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>